All right, Shalom. First, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Barsham Yahweh Shai, Barsham Mechar Kadash. So, Brak to Yahweh, Brak to Yahweh Shai, man. Uh, I want to give double honors uh, to the Apostle and Elders of Great Mulsan who rule well and lead by example. And uh, Shalom to the elect out there, man, who pushing this word of sincerity and truth. Um, I, do, I got the inspiration to this video because um, I've actually been, Satan's been fucking with me uh, um, it's a timing wise, you know, with work and certain commitments. I haven't been able to really have time to sit down and um, and do a video, man, you know, and uh, usually I, I can do that. So today, uh, I, you know, I made sure that I planned it where I could have a certain amount of time away from work. I've just uh, walked, you know, got out of work for a second, you know, so-called lunch break or whatever. Um, and one thing I noticed is that, you know, um, the way I was feeling, man, I felt this anxiety in my belly, man. I felt like, no, like, I felt like I needed to explode, you know. And I thought by it and I said, well, that's in the scriptures because Jeremiah felt like that, you know. And I'm actually going to get that account, okay, uh, in Jeremiah, the 20th chapter. Uh, I'm just going to get straight to the point, verse 9, right? It says, um, Jeremiah 20 and 9, it says, then I said, I will not make mention of him, nor speak any more in his name. Okay, talking about Yahweh Bashmi Oshaya, teaching this, pretty much teaching this, this truth. It says, but his word was in my heart, which is the mind, as a burning fire, shut up in my bones. And I was weary with forbearing, and I could not stay. So this, actually, this word was actually in Jeremiah's mind, like a burning fire, man, like he had to get it out. And, um, you know, that's the, the same kind of feeling I got. Where it's like, at the end of the day, we're here to what? To, to you know, you you know, we're, the scriptures talk about, you know, not to let the affairs of the world pretty much um, get in the way of what you've got to do, man. You know, and um, sometimes things can get a bit too much. You know, you could you could be kind of busy. You, you've got your work and different commitments you've got. And they can sometimes get in the word of this ministry. And, that, and, that, and that's not the way. You know, but when I when I felt like that, I knew that. Well, I knew that. Hold on, you know, that's the right way to feel, man. You know, like you know, we we got to push this word. That's what we live for, you know. And Jeremiah said it rightly. So he said his word was in my heart as a burning fire, sharp in my wounds. <laughs> you know, that fire needs to be released, man. Okay, we need to put that fire out there so that the wood, <laughs> you know, the, the the gold can be refined and the, and, the, and the wood can be burnt, man. You know, the, this this word needs to go out there. And that's why the scriptures say that when you pray, you know, pray for more laborers, man, because the harvest is plenty, but the laborers are few, you know. And this is part of that labor, man. In fact, let me get this scripture. This is Hebrews chapter 6, verse 10. It says, For Yahweh is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have showed toward his name, in that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. So, hey, the Lord don't forget. The Lord, the Lord sees every, everything that you're doing, man. Okay, and remember, it says in John the third chapter. Okay, no man can receive anything except he receive it from the Father in heaven, man. Okay, you gotta receive it from heaven. That means you gotta be given the Spirit to speak, and you you're a mouthpiece for the Lord. So if the, the Lord's be sending, you know, be sending you things, you, you're gonna start <laughs> the engine gonna start choking up, man. You're gonna have to start <laughs> getting it out there, you know. And um, that was that. I mean, I got that fire burning uh, thing when. You know, sometimes what I'll do is I'll take certain notes, I'll meditate on certain lessons and and to, to see how I'm going to uh, edify the flock. You know, it's all in the spirit. But sometimes you just got to go unleash, man. Okay. <laughs> and, you know, uh, so this is a beautiful thing. And um, and I'm just showing you in the scriptures that, you know, that's um, that's the kind of feeling that we should be in, man. You know, constantly pushing this word. Got this word constantly being on our mind, no matter what we're going through, whatever, whatever uh, different affairs we're dealing with within the world, man. Okay, it says, and we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence, right, to the full assurance of hope unto the end. Okay, so we're prisoners of hope, man. So what we're doing is we're coming out and we're, 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 we're preaching this gospel. Okay, we're throwing out these epistles, really, we're singing that song, man. Okay. We're singing that song that the elect are gonna hear, man, for the seeding of the elect. Okay, we're singing. We're pretty much singing um, Yahweh Shai, man. We're we're we're, we're and, and only the elect are gonna hear that word, man. Pursuing to, I believe it's Revelation, the seventh chapter, if I'm not mistaken, talking about the 144,000. Okay. 
and we've got to show that diligence and an assurance okay of hope unto the end this is a, th these works are showed these these works that we're doing is actually showing your faith okay because the, the lord gives you the gift of faith you believe and therefore you do so when you when you get this word what you're meant to do is you're meant to grow in it and you're meant to teach you know that's the that's the ultimate aim okay uh, if there's any brothers out there that you know just come in and they're listening you know when that spirit hits you man and you you know and you've you've learned something something is some it might be something like for example you know the color scriptures okay or the the, the appearance of um, Yahweh Shai okay revelation the first chapter and you got that Salaki earth that uh, there's a helicopter going past so that's uh making too much noise i'm trying to talk louder but um yeah if that that's just satan okay trying to hinder the word but um if hey if um if, if that spirit's in you to, to do it man you know then do it man you know this is the labor of love man it says that ye be not slothful okay what does it mean to be slothful man it's to, you know you ever seen a sloth okay that's just uh it lazes about all day pretty much I uh, don't do shit. That's that laziness, man. Okay, this is this is uh, this is hard work. Work needs to be put in, man. Okay, that's why it's called labor, a labor of love. Okay, and we do that because we, hey, we we love doing this, man. Okay, and then when you hey, anytime brothers know, anytime that you you know, you ain't been able to, to put out a video or edify the elect for whatever reason, okay, for a little while, you're not gonna. That's gonna start fucking with you, man. That's gonna really start messing you up. Because that's, that is pretty much our purpose on the planet, man. Okay. Starting with our apostles and elders at Great Moorstone. Okay. And anyone, anyone else that teaches the true doctrine in Yahweh Shai. Okay. That's the prophets, man. Okay. And <laughs> that, that is our purpose on the earth. That's our, like in the movie 300, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the King Leonidas in that movie. He asked the Athenians, he said, you know, what is your job? And the Athenians said, well, I'm a potter. One said he was a blacksmith or whatever. Then he said to his own army, his 300 army, it was a small army. He said, well, what do you, okay, what is your profession? And they all basically were warriors, man. And they gave that warrior salute, that warrior shout, okay? You know, and our, and our profession is what? To prophesy this word, man, you know? It says, but followers of them through faith and patience inherit the promises. And that's what we're looking forward to do, okay? I'm going to read that scripture. Okay, I don't know if I've read it already. I'm going to read that scripture in um, in 1 Corinthians, the ninth chapter. 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 16. It says, For though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of. We don't, because ultimately this word is given to us through who? Yahweh Shemel Shai. We're just mouthpieces, man. Not because you're so great or you, you've got some ultimate wisdom understanding no man the lord gives you all of that not the glory of it's just something that we've got to do this is this is this is the lot that was given to us man okay the scriptures say um the, pretty much the lot of the prophets i don't want to butcher it man i'll find it i'll find it okay uh, uh right this is first corinthians 14 and 32 okay if it loads, Satan again. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Why that's loaded? Okay, it's loaded. Funny that. First Corinthians 14 and 32 says, And the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets, man. So if you were a prophet before in your lot, okay, in the reincarnation, you're going to come back as a prophet, man. And that's just the way it goes. So we've got a job to do. Okay, we're pushing this word. And being a prophet don't mean that, you know, you're, 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 um, you're in a lotus position, you know, uh, you know, doing the ultimate meditations and, um, and you're, you're shining and, you, you, you know, you're doing, you know, mid-air cartwheels. No, man, it, it means to say before, man. OK, so these prophecies that the Lord has actually, um, just these secrets that the Lord has revealed to us, the understanding of these prophecies, we teach those and say them before they happen, man. For example, one prophecy is the mark of the beast, man. OK, being made mandatory. So the mark of the beast is the RFID chip implant and that's out there right now, okay, but it's not yet been made mandatory, man. But hey, that's what we teach here at Great Moonstone, man, for starting with our apostles and elders, man. And that's a prophecy that's going to come to pass, man, okay. America, which is Babylon being completely destroyed by nuclear fire, ICBM nuclear missiles, that's a future prophecy. That is not, that is yet to happen, but it will happen, man, because thus saith the Lord, man, 
okay that's in the prophecy now let me go back to what i was going to read originally and then i'll go in fact before i get that see it's the spirit i'm gonna to have to get um uh, i'm gonna have to get this scripture man this is revelation 19 and 10 it says and i fell at his feet to worship him and he said unto me see thou do it not i am thy fellow servant okay and this is when um john was basically bowing down to an angel he says and of thy brethren that have the testimony of yahweh shai okay worship the most high for the testimony of yahweh shai is the spirit of prophecy okay and that's what we're doing man coming out on the highways and byways doing these epistles okay the lord um we give you this word okay you know send it down to you man and then you your job is to just be that mouthpiece man like a like a robot you meant to just open that mouth okay move that tongue okay and whatever the lord's got you saying you got to be saying it in the spirit man okay and the lord will build you up you know give you the spirit to study okay as it is written uh study to show thyself to proved a workman that need not be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth so that's another thing you got to learn these breakdowns learn these th things and the lord will guide you to do that through prayer for, through fasting the faith okay and you get built up in this truth over time through different experiences and be tried and refined and you'll through, the, through those experiences you'll be edifying and exhorting the elect okay and this is just that's what hey this is all about feeding each other man feeding the flock what did Yahweh Shai say to Peter? He said, um, if you love me, feed my, feed my sheep, feed the sheep. Okay, so how do you show love to Yahweh Shai, man? By feeding a flock. For the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Okay, so that's, <laughs> that's how important this thing is, man. Okay, but um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end it on this last scripture. Okay, I really got the point across. But basically, man, yeah, hey, this thing is about preaching this word, man. Whenever and whenever possible, wherever possible, and when the spirit hits you, you know, preparing lessons and stuff, you know, that's why I'm doing this lesson because, hey, I, I was feeling cut because I hadn't done something in maybe two or three days. Right? Well, you know, link up with brothers and all that, but just my own personal uh, lessons, man. Okay. And it's, you know, sometimes you gotta, you gotta make certain sacrifices, you gotta make that time, man. This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 6. Um, Verse 16, for though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of, okay, which we explained that, for necessity, this is necessary, <laughs> is laid upon me, okay, woe is unto me, which woe represents destruction, okay, if I preach not the gospel, for if I do this thing willingly, okay, not begrudgingly, no, you got to love this man, it's got to be in you, I have a reward, but if that but if that against my will a dispensation of the gospel is committed unto me so hey we're doing this for a war man we're putting in labor right well the the, the disciples asked yahweh they said you know we've given up all we've followed you what would what, what, what we're gonna get and the lord said well you're gonna get this and this in the kingdom man a hundredfold of the things that you lost okay that like scriptures talk about eyes are not seen things are not heard in my in my in my right hand are pleasures evermore okay the lord, the lord prepares a kingdom for us man okay and the kingdom is being built up right now through this word man through these prophecies coming to pass man you know so hey, this, doing this work is very important man so yeah you know just an exhortational video you know spirit was on me to, to do this video man so you know Lord willing it's edifying and exhortational man the spirit and power of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai okay Basham Rechah Kadash man so anyway man all praises to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai Basham Rechah Kadash double honor to the apostle and elders great millstone and shalom to the elect shalom